In this video, we'll find the protons, neutrons, electrons, and mass number for cobalt, for the isotopes of cobalt. So on the periodic table, if we look at cobalt here, we see the atomic number, this 27 here. This is the atomic number. And the atomic number, we'll write in as 27, that equals the number of protons. So right now, we know we have 27 protons for both isotopes of cobalt. So whenever you have cobalt, you'll have an atomic number of 27, 27 protons. Let's skip over the neutrons and look at electrons. So on the periodic table, we don't see a negative or positive sign written after the element symbol. So this is a neutral compound. When we have a neutral compound, the number of protons, that equals the number of electrons. So we have 27 electrons for each isotope here of cobalt. So the only thing that's going to be different for the different isotopes of cobalt, that's going to be the number of neutrons and then the mass number. We have this hyphen notation here. That tells us this 59, that's the mass number for cobalt 59. So we can put a 59 in for the mass number here. Cobalt 60, that's its mass number. Then to figure out the neutrons, we know the mass number equals protons plus neutrons. So 27 plus something, that gives us 59. 27 plus 32, that would equal 59. So cobalt 59 has 32 neutrons. Cobalt 60, so 27 plus 33, that would equal 60. Cobalt 60, 33 neutrons, and a mass number of 60. Often when you have a table like this, you'll be given the number of neutrons or the mass number, so you could figure the one out pretty easily. If not, go to the periodic table and look at the average atomic mass. The average atomic mass, that's an average of the different isotopes of cobalt. In this case, you would just round this to 59 and then put that in for the mass number. If you had a sample of cobalt, a block of cobalt, most of the atoms would be cobalt 59 because this number is closer to 59. Some of them would be other trace isotopes. One important isotope, it's not naturally occurring, this is a synthetic isotope, is cobalt-60. This is made in nuclear reactors. It's used for all kinds of things, from chemotherapy to treat cancer to sterilizing medical equipment or even a tracer in chemical reactions. So cobalt-60 is a very important isotope of cobalt, but it's not a naturally occurring isotope. This is made in nuclear reactors. So that's how you find the protons, neutrons, electrons, and mass number for the different isotopes of cobalt. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.